Welcome back to the channel and this will be part two about the Forever Infinity Flasher from DIY Desi and my attempts to get it to run for 24 hours of just a 1F super cap. The changes and the runnings, so let's go. Hi, right, sorry about the lighting, it's now 7.30 in the evening, uh, but this has been going for four and a half hours now. With the first run, it was about 30 minutes on the original setup with a 150k resistor. But I've changed it to a 4.7 mega ohm. And although it only flashes about once every 12 seconds, like I say, it's been going for four and a half hours now. It started at three o'clock, it's half seven now. I'm very pleased with this change, although it does flash slower, it gives us a chance of that 24 hour run. And in the first video, I was talking about this circuit here, which as you can see, is now in a lot darker amount of uh, light and it's flashing away quite merrily so that's what that thing does if it goes darker <laughs> the circuit works but back to this one and it's four and a half hours so far I did forget to mention how I've been loading up the supercapacitor the 1F supercap and that's with this 1.5 volt AAA so I did about 10 seconds connected and then let it go off and run like that now I may need to improve the size, increase the size of the solar panel at the top, I don't know yet, but I'm quite pleased with this run so far. In preparation for what will be an overnight run and a test, I've glued this little stand on the back. Now also you might be able to see that the little solar panel is drooping down, so I might just attach a bit of glue there. I'll probably have to change this panel out for something larger. I don't know how well it's going to charge yet. And I don't know if it's going to run 24 hours. So, yeah, I think I'll put a bit of glue there too, just to neaten it up. The circuit has been running all day today, and 1.173 is still on the super cap. So that's really good news. Here's something fascinating. I've just had this sat on the table. I've been setting up for the overnight camera. And realise that this has gone up to one flash about every eight or nine seconds. So it looks like the little solar panel is actually working. So here we are with the security camera doing the overnight run. Uh, what happened was I sped it all up to 4160% and we didn't see a single flash. So instead what I've done is I've done a small collection but you can see that the panel itself, the build itself, doesn't move whatsoever uh, from the 3 p.m. until round to the 3 p.m. Well, the day after. So there we are now. I've gone into the other room, turned the light off, and it's still running very nicely. You can see some of the flashes. But then my wife couldn't sleep, so she got up and she came into this room and she started watching videos on YouTube and such, past the time. And so we'll see this light up again in a minute when she comes into the room. So here we are, but it does actually show that the circuit itself is still in the exact same position. Use whichever markers or whatever to, to verify that, but it just sat there on the table, flashing away. And at one point, she actually came into the room, woke me up and said, Your circuit stopped. And I wondered what had gone on, but then she said in the morning that it was about half an hour that it seemed to be not flashing and then started up again. And one thing I have noticed is that it will miss the odd time. So whereas it normally flashes once every 89 seconds, it will go to once every 18 or once every 36. It's kind of bizarre, but it will always get back to the once every 89 seconds. Quite a fascinating way of running, and adds a bit of a uh, little bit extra character to the build itself. But here we are now. We're at 420, uh, 220, sorry, nearly coming up to the full 24 hours of running, and it appears to have done so marvelously. Back to myself now in the past for the rest of this. It's now day four of this circuit running, it's carried on going all the time. So in the morning here it's 0.986 on the supercap 
and I'll see what it says at about 3 p.m. And by mid afternoon, with no sun on it all day, we're at 1.164. So, as a summary, I believe we have a winner. This would seem to be something that can run 24 7, 365. We do get a lot of sun here, but these Vimmen panels are well known. I mean, with the uh, rocking waver type things, they will start to go without full sunlight. And. <laughs> I am actually really surprised about it, but delighted. And thank you again DIY Desi for the great little project. Thanks very much for watching.